All right, let's be serious for a second. Basic rules for analyzing fiction, an incomprehensive list jotted down in a hurry. One, the protagonist isn't always right. Two, the protagonist isn't always good. Three, the protagonist isn't always written to be relatable or likable. Four, the narrator isn't always right. Five, the narrator isn't always good. Six, the narrator isn't always telling the truth. Seven, the narrator isn't always the author. Eight, a protagonist's moral compass, the narrator's moral compass, and the author's moral compass are three entirely different things that only occasionally overlap. Nine, pay attention to what characters do and not just what they say. Ten, pay special attention when what the characters do is at odds with what they say. Eleven, a lot of the time the curtains are blue for a reason. If they aren't, you should read better books. And one more. 12. The antagonist isn't always telling the truth. So many times I have seen people apparently just forget that it's possible for fictional characters to be mistaken or lying and say things like, we know this is true because characters said it so here, or worse, the fact is canon because characters said it. The antagonist isn't always telling the truth. The protagonist isn't always telling the truth. The secondary and minor characters aren't always telling the truth. The narrator may be telling the truth, but if the narrator is also a character in the story, then don't count on it. Let me put it to you this way. You know that one person in your life that likes to tell a lot of exaggerated stories and you have to sometimes sit there and wonder if they're true or not? Apply the same rules to a written piece of material because sometimes... It could be constructed that way. Cool, cool. All right, moving on to the silly shit. Thinking of going to the convenience store? Anyone want anything? Give me a... Things are about to become a lot less convenient if you don't talk. You're not supposed to drink water. It makes you pee. Listen to your body. It's trying desperately to get rid of it. This is how anti-vaxxers argue. Lamael. I am the problem here. I am fully aware. But I made the decision to inflict me on everyone else. The best quote I heard in a long time. I want to live by this. Schrodinger's cat is so last year. Meet Oppenheimer's cat. He is become death. Or is he? Being a fan of a character is sometimes... Look how complex he is. He's so intricate and his story is so tragic and he's so much more complicated than people give him credit for. And sometimes it's like, yeah, look at this failure of a person. I want to throw him off a cliff and see what happens. Andy, put up your two characters that meet these qualifications. What an autistic person says. How long is it going to take? What they mean. I want to know whether to activate my short-term waiting mode where I just wait and do nothing else, or activate my long-term waiting mode where I occupy my mind with something else. I fully understand that both are possibilities, and I have no problem whatsoever with either one, but I want more information so I can best adapt to the situation. What neurotypical people here? I am impatient and I demand everything I want happen right now. Please scold me and publicly humiliate me for it. Did, did you get that? I still can't get over how broken my humor is. I need my Google Drive and my Chrome bookmarks bar car. Maybe because you drive a car. Melon pie, stop! It's the funniest joke I've heard all day. It fucks me up that Tolkien only died in 1973. Dude had this vibe of a Victorian scholar who wrote all his manuscripts by candlelight, but then you look him up and realize he knew what color TV was. What the fuck? He saw the moon landing. Tolkien had personal beef with the Beatles. He actively encouraged Led Zeppelin to write songs based on the Lord of the Rings series and considered it an honor. It's funny because I have that exact same relationship with Pablo Picasso. Like, I keep thinking he's like a 1700s painter. No, not even close. He also died in 1973. Top hats imply the existence of a bottom hat. Cat ears? <laughs> I fucking can't with you guys anymore. I, I gotta I gotta stop here. I just I just can't.